Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and this is a quick look at what is happening in an update that was released today. So if you're on Windows 10 version 1903, if you are under version, this is by the way not the updates for you guys on the older versions. I have a separate video because you guys have a separate update. So of course, cumulative, uh, the, um, uh, the uh, creators update, fall creators update, uh, the uh, April 2018 update and October 2018 update have updates of their own that were released today. There's a separate video for that. It's bug fixes for one very simple thing. But if you're on 1903, the May 2019 update, also a cumulative update was released. This one fixes a lot of stuff. Now, it is going to show up like you see here. This is exactly my screen, actually. It shows up as KB450-1375, and it is available as an additional update, download and install now button. That means if you don't, you know, if you check for updates, uh, you'll see that I believe there was a update for the .NET framework and also for the antivirus. But then you'll see this one show up as an additional update. This, unless you click download and install now, does not install on your machine. It's really an optional update. It does not contain any security updates, so you don't have to worry. But it does fix a lot of stuff. So if you've got some problems, uh, you might want to check it out. The list of issues that it actually fixes is uh, pretty, pretty big. There's a lot of stuff in there. So if you have some kind of problems, if you had some kind of issues, this fixes, um, you know, uh, a lot of them. Now, you know, I've looked at uh, my own problem, the flickering screen. I don't see if there's a fix in here. I don't see anything that there is an, a, a flickering screen thing that it's talking about, but it's not on this version, so I don't know exactly. I'll see if it still happens, but uh, there's still a lot of bug fixes. If you got some issues in Windows 10, May 2019 update, maybe this is the time to actually update your version so that you have these fixes. One of the key fixes here, if you're moving on from Windows 7, uh, there's apparently a certain number of people that could not complete the install of the May 2019 update. It will actually roll back to Windows 7. And there's a fix in here that fixes that bug that prevents you from upgrading from Windows 7 to this version. So this is something you might want to look at because uh, it seems that it is enough of a problem that I've been hearing a little bit of it um, on what's happening. Now, if you're looking for fixes for one major problem that some people have been talking about, the Windows Sandbox will fail to start. It's still an issue. It's still one of the known issues in the May 2019 update. So if you can't get the Windows Sandbox to work, yeah, it's possible that it's still going to be broken. And don't forget, this is not a security update at all. And even if it doesn't show up on your machine, it doesn't really matter, honestly, because you're not losing out on anything. But if you have some problems, this might actually fix some issues that you might have. And uh, it ups your version to 18.362.2. 07 as you see here so uh, check it out it's available now and it uh, could be something that uh, might fix one of the problems you might have in the May 2019 update if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching